Good morning, Kingdom Saints. Good morning, subscribers and followers. I want to share with y'all a poem about a woman that I met. And we was in a tumultuous... Did I say that right? A rocky relationship. Because she was not in the spirit. She, she was of the world, but I was like, maybe she can come to Jesus by watching me, by learning from me, and she will get filled with the Spirit of the Lord because she will see what God has done for me. But alas, she uh, didn't come around, so I had to cut it short. But I loved her so much, I wrote a poem about her. I'm not going to mention names, her name or anything, but... She knows who she is, if she ever sees this. But uh, anyway, you know, you got to walk a straight path with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You can't go out of your boundaries, your faithful spiritual boundaries, just to please yourself and please the flesh. So that means I have to give her up. You know, she wasn't the one that God sent me sent to me so uh I had to let her go matter of fact the name of the poem is called letting go letting go y'all ready for this letting go let me address my mic here yeah? my love I had to let you go the voice of my father in heaven beckons unto me and him I must follow. Will you follow me on the road to God's green pasture and life everlasting? Alas, you chose not to, even with all of my pleading and all of my asking. Tis the worldly things that I caress, but the love... Wait, 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 wait. Tis not the worldly things that I caress, but the love we share that lingers unto my very essence, my very inner being that was put to the test. Tis a calling from heavenly places that I hearken to, for I hear and I obey the voice of my Father in heaven. I prophesy to you, Miha, my love, about Jesus and how you will receive all of his blessings. Alas, my love, in my heart you shall always stay, for I have hardened my heart to all evil and all temptations that pass my way. My Father in heaven is a compassionate Father and full of wisdom, full of understanding, and full of grace. Alas, my love, I long to meet my Savior Jesus in heaven face to face and give unto him a warm embrace. Alas, my love, there will come a time when you believe everything is finished. That will be the beginning, you see. I shall follow the steps that God has outlined for me until I reach his heavenly habitation to live with him eternally. You told me once, Miha, that you didn't believe in my Savior, you said, why bother? I told you, Miha, that only through love can we obtain communi communion and communication with God the Father. Hmm. I hearken unto you, Miha, to change your life. Let go and let God take control, lest I bid you farewell. For which shall be the arrival of my Savior Emmanuel, and he shall engulf this world with his plan of love and light, henceforth sealing the door where evil dwells. <laughs> Alas, I shall not dim it from my walk, for it to beguile me hauntingly shall that come to pass. For I see the light of my Lord Jesus even beyond expiry. Tis the estate and expectations of heaven and the egad expression of praise that I give it to my Savior endlessly. My love, 
Do not hasten to make yourself immeticable, immeticable. Suffice it to say that I shall every day on your behalf pray and shall in deepest oversight and perchance you will join me on that glorious, great getting up day. Amen. Amen.